guys, today I'm going to be filming a Rant Monday video. I usually like to put these up at the first Monday of every month, um, but this month I just was so busy. Uh, at the beginning of this month, as you guys know, I moved, and so I just didn't have any time to do anything, let alone, you know, make a specific video and upload it on a specific date. It's really fun to bring up topics that I tend not to talk a lot about in my beauty videos just because, you know, sometimes they're a little bit more controversial or, um, I don't know, some people really enjoy these, some people may not like them, but the majority of you seem to be responding very very well to these videos. And the one that I'm making today is actually kind of a response video to Wheezy Waiter's video here on YouTube. He is a vlogger and I love him. He is so so funny and he recently put up a video that was um, talking about why YouTube videos are decreasing or he sort of was noticing this trend within his own videos about all these different views that are starting to decrease. And I haven't necessarily noticed this trend in my videos a whole lot. Um, I noticed that my channel tends to go through spurts where I get tons of views one month, not so much the next month, and sort of just up and down. For me, it's always kind of been that way. I've never like kept a consistent viewing schedule, and I don't know really what that says about me or my videos, but um, I've always just kind of been okay with it. He but really brought up some very interesting topics about kind of how some people are getting disinterested in YouTube and sort of the decline of people engaging with content creators and, you know, that kind of whole thing. Um, so I just want to talk a little bit about that today. This isn't like as ranty as some of my rants have been, but just sort of talking and I really want to hear your guys' opinions, so definitely leave me comments down below, kind of tell me what you think about all this. So in this video, one of the points that I thought really stuck out was the fact that people are just kind of losing interest. Um, YouTube has been around for a very long time, and something that you guys probably no, don't know about me, because I don't think I've ever said this, is I used to have a YouTube channel way, way, way back when YouTube pretty much first began. I was very, very young. And it was back when Michelle Fan was like not even popular. Popular. I mean, it was when she was just kind of starting to up and coming, like all these different channels that are huge now and have millions upon millions of subscribers were just these little channels with, uh, you know, like thousands of subscribers. And I really got interested in the community and so I decided to make my own channel. It didn't last very long. I was just too young. Um, I don't think I really knew a whole lot and I, it just was kind of one of those things that although I love doing I it, I think that it was something that wasn't very age appropriate. People weren't really going to respond to my videos and take beauty advice from somebody who's 12. Um, so I kind of let that die out but uh, back then I mean I think that people were so much more engaged with the content creators and people had a lot of interest in YouTube and I think that no matter what video uh, somebody pushed out if you were subscribed to them you watched it and one thing that Weezy Waiter talked about in his video was how he will go through his own subscription sometimes and he will just pass over certain videos even though he's subscribed to all these people which I guess kind of means that, you know, he is interested in all these different people and he wants to watch these people's videos, he will still, you know, pass through and sort of skip over some. And I do the same exact thing. I am subscribed to so many different people, not necessarily on my channel here. I have my own personal account that I use for subscriptions. I don't know why that is, but it would just be so much work for me to go back onto my Pretty and Prim channel and subscribe to tons of people. It'd seriously be something that would take me like two hours to do. So I just keep it on my personal account and that's where I comment, where I like videos and where I um, watch all my videos from, but that's something that even I realize I do is, you know, I'm subscribed to all these people, but what really does that mean if I'm not watching all their content, you know? And I'm not saying that I am going to watch every video that's in my subscription feed and I feel like I need to do that. If I don't do that, I'm not a true fan, or if I don't do that, I shouldn't be subscribed to these people because some people are just going to put out content that you don't like. I'm sure many of you who are subscribed to me haven't watched every single one of my videos because I make an array of beauty videos. I like to make hauls. I like to make tutorials. I like to do, um, you know, get ready with me and just different things and some people might not like hauls, some people might not like tutorials, some people might not like get ready with me. so they're not going to watch them all and that's totally fine like I completely understand that. I think the problem is just when in my subscription feed I watch a very small amount of videos compared to the pool of videos that are actually in that feed and one thing that Weezy Waiter brought up is that he's just started going to the um, watch watch thing on YouTube and that's kind of what he watches because it shows um, some of the videos from your own subscription feed, the things that YouTube thinks you be most interested in as well as other videos based on you know the things you search and the other things you watch. I personally still stick to my subscription feed but I just have noticed that I do skip over a lot of videos and I just think it's for a variety of reasons. I think that the YouTube beauty community, the YouTube gaming community, the YouTube vlogging community are such highly populated 
communities, I guess. They're just so overgrown and there are so many different creators within those communities that it is really, really hard and it's really time consuming to try to watch every single video that the people you're subscribed to in those communities put out because, um, there's just, I mean, like Wheezy Waiter brought up, I mean, you'd be sitting there all day trying to watch all your videos if you are subscribed to a good amount of people. It's just, it's not realistic. Most of us just don't even have that time. And of course you then, like I mentioned earlier, you sort of have the whole thing where it's like you're not always interested in every video that people put out. But then this kind of brings it back to the original topic, which is just views are starting to decrease. People are losing interest. And another thing Wheezy Waiter brought up is that um, YouTube is becoming very very competitive in between creators it's sort of like this competition to see who can get the most views and who can put out the content that's most interesting and that means that as a viewer you do watch the videos that um, you know have a lot of views or are very creative and then the rest of them you sort of just kind of weed out and you know that's natural but there's only so much competitiveness you can have with YouTube and being a creator before it just doesn't become fun anymore I every once in a while do put out a video and I'm I'm going to be completely honest for the sake of it maybe becoming popular and getting a lot of views like I'm just going to put that out there because I try to think of content that a lot of people will like and I know certain videos that I make people love for example my fashion hauls I don't do many of them but every single time I do one they do very my well review videos also tend to do very well again not videos I do tons of but whenever I review a new makeup product it always gets above 10,000 views so I love trying out new makeup products and reviewing them because I know if I make a video on it I have the chance of getting a lot of views, which means more subscribers, which means more people that I can interact with. And that is the core of what I do this. I don't do this for money. I don't do this for the fame or for the tons of views. I mean, like Wheezy Waiter said in his own video, which by the way, I should have mentioned this at the beginning, that video will be linked down below if you have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, but like he said in his own video, like he would do this if he had negative subscribers. I mean, he would do this no matter what. And I feel the same exact way. Like, uh, honestly, the fact that any of you want to watch me and care about my opinion and care about what I have to say and think that I'm talented or think that I'm interesting I mean that's just amazing like I would do this if only one of you were watching I'd still make a video for you because I love to do this for me this is just such a stress reliever it's so much fun I love the entire video making process I love when I actually get to sit here and I'm talking like I am now I love when I edit I love uploading I love replying to comments and it's not an overstatement when I say I love it I seriously do and no matter how popular or how unpopular this channel gets, I will continue to do this until I just can't anymore for whatever reason that may be because I love to do this. And so back to the whole topic at hand, you know, with YouTube views decreasing, I honestly, in my opinion, the biggest reason I think is just disinterest and just, uh, you know, flooding of the communities and so many new channels being open on YouTube. It is so hard to try to subscribe to ones that aren't just crap or ones that, you know, up very irregularly or people who just are in this for the money. I think too with the amount of sponsorships and different stuff that goes within the community, people don't want to sit on their computer and watch 10 minute ads, you know? Like we have the ads before the videos and then we have videos that are basically just ads because they're sponsored. So all they are talking about a product, trying to sell the product, trying to push the product. Nobody wants to watch that. And so I think that that's a huge reason for the decrease in views. People are just getting, you know, a little bit fed up with the fakeness, the sponsorships, and just how much content there is out there. It's very, very hard to keep up with it all. And um, something that I realized too when I went on my Washington trip was, you know, I was gone for about... I think three or four days and that entire time I was super busy I mean Bryce and I were out doing a million and one different things so we both didn't watch YouTube that entire trip but when I came back I just for some reason it's like I didn't have an urge to watch any of the videos that I missed over the past few days and then the next day you know when I was back in town I was just hanging out at home that's when I started watching the videos from that day but still I missed out on like three days worth of videos because I just kind of lost interest I found other things to do and I I just, I don't know, it's just, it's a very kind of interesting thing to talk about because I love YouTube. I love watching YouTube videos. Um, like I said, I love making them, but that's just as much as I love watching them. I think that being able to interact with people that are so talented and people that know so much, and YouTube is just a place too that's, I mean, it's just, you know, I can watch a certain YouTube video and be in a completely different mood after I watch that video than I was before I watched it. And some people are just so creative and so funny and just can put so much time and effort into their videos 
and it just like amazes me because I think it's just such a cool thing that we have this place on the internet that we can communicate and we can watch people's faces and we can watch them do stuff or we can watch somebody make a parody of something and we can laugh and we can you know enjoy that moment together and I think that's awesome but it's just I don't know I think that YouTube is something that honestly who knows what it will be in the next you know five ten years it'll really even be something that's still around or something where people are really engaged people may decide that they're kind of you know fed up with it and I think another big thing as I read through some comments of videos is people kind of feel like everything that can be done already has been you know that kind of whole saying personally I don't think that that's true I think that there's always room for new things to be created and new things to be imagined but every once in a while I do agree I have seen enough Marilyn Monroe makeup tutorials to last me my entire lifetime I have seen enough 20s makeup tutorials grunge tutorials I mean you know what I'm saying like after a while <laughs> there does come a point where it's like all right this has been done a million and one times we can kind of calm down so then you get back into the whole disinterested part of this whole topic and um, I don't know I just want to hear your guys thoughts on it I want to hear what you guys have to say if you notice that maybe you are becoming more disinterested in YouTube videos or if you're becoming very interested and maybe you feel like this is YouTube's time and you feel like creators are pushing out amazing content and you feel like there's always something amazing to watch just let me know you know leave it in the comments and I'll get back to you guys so thank you all so much for watching I hope you guys found this interesting please be sure to go check out Weezy Waiter's video it was really really interesting it was funny um, it's only a few minutes you know, just go give it a view and um, I think you'll really really like it because he brings up some very interesting points so that is the end thank you guys again for watching and I'll talk to you all next time bye bye